Hey, it's Amelia. Today I'm filming my Pan That Palette intro for 2020 and also kind of a finale for the test run I did, which I talked about on my Instagram more than on here. Um, I don't remember when my last video was posted, but I feel like I should do some general updates. Um, one, I'm filming in my room again because it's cold on the porch, obviously, because it's winter. Um, two, if you haven't watched videos of me in my room before, you will notice that there's like a water sound. That's my goldfish's um, tank over here. So I can't turn that off because he would die, so that's not happening. However, some people like the sound, so there you go. Um, the other thing is the reason that I took another break on accident, kind of. So my goldfish has issues and I don't really have clear answers as to what those are or why he has them, but essentially he will, this has only happened twice, but he will get sick with no physical symptoms, but he'll stop eating. So, um, most recently, it was like a week before the week of Thanksgiving, he was fine one day, and the next day he just decided he didn't want to eat anymore. Um, so that was really difficult, and I was stressing out about it because I actually was traveling for Thanksgiving. So I needed to get him healthy in like a week, which didn't really happen, however, more recently, meaning like mid-December, he all of a sudden started acting normal again and like now he's acting as normal as he could ever be. He has some issues where he's not as behaviorally, he's not like what you would expect for goldfish, um, but he's swimming around a lot more now, he's eating the way he should be, his behaviors make more sense, he doesn't seem stressed or depressed or anything anymore so I don't really know what's going on with him but it seems like he's better for now so that's good so that was the first reason that I stopped filming and editing altogether and then the next was just I was traveling so that was like the week before Thanksgiving then the week of Thanksgiving I was traveling then I came back and I don't even remember what was going on but also this week which was going to be the week I was filming a lot um I ended up spending more hours at work because I had days that I missed um, due to whatever. Days where like the office was closed, I had to make up those hours. So that specific job is done for now. I may be going back, I might not, I don't know. But all I know is at this point, today is December 20th, we'll see when I get this up. Um, from now until sometime in January, I don't think that I'm going to be working, unfortunately. However, that means that I probably will have time to film. This is only relevant for people who follow my exercising and weight loss stuff on Instagram. So if you don't care, you can like skip ahead in the video. Um, but for that specifically, uh, I don't think I've talked about it on here. Um, basically, I lost a certain amount of weight. I don't even remember what the number is. And I've been fluctuating around a certain range for a while. And at the moment, during the holiday season, I'm trying to keep it within that range. But I know I'm not going to lose weight and I might gain some weight. Um, so yeah, and for those of you who are wondering, because I know you can see me better in video than in um, photos. I think though, the angle of my camera um, influences people's perception of my weight at the any given time because there are times where I've weighed more but the angle of the camera was better so people are like oh looks like you've lost weight and it's like mm, I haven't so whatever the camera is like straight but like maybe it's like, I don't know it's kind of actually you know what it's probably like here to me so it's like that's not the ideal angle usually so you get what you get so that's the whole update of why I was gone I'm sure the next time I film a video um, I'll give you the next update on why I leave again for some various reasons. So today's video, let's get into that. Um, I'm talking about Pan That Palette. So for those of you who have not been following me, I did Pan That Palette from, I'm going to say between 2014 and 2018. I did 
various painting eyeshadows. I believe I joined Instagram in 2015. Um, and I've been sharing on there for a while. I finished quite a few palettes. I made a video about it when I started YouTube. And then in 2018, I did pan that palette using the Naked palette. Um, I didn't think to grab it beforehand, but I will insert a photo of my Naked palette now because I did finish one of the shadows I wanted to from 2018. And I had a set of three single shadows in that project, and I did finish one of those. Um, so for 2020, um, I believe that the first time I came up with this idea was when the Fantastic Ladies had a, um, they had an idea for a project and I was considering it and it, uh, I don't know if they're going to do the project again, so I'm not going to give details, but essentially the pan that palette that I've chosen fit the criteria for that, um, although it's not exact. Um, and then Paula, that's her name, I almost forgot, Paula from A Beauty Guru, la, 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 A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It, I will link her, she did pan that palette for 2019 using one of her um, Z palettes and a bunch of shadows in there. So I am basically doing the same thing, this is my Z palette. It's the ugly pink one. It's not ugly, it's that it's very dirty and scratched up and old. So it's my ugly palette. Um, and I use this palette every day, so at the moment it's dirty because I didn't clean it. So that's the evidence that I've been using it, aside from all the pan. So, ooh, there's black everywhere. Okay, this is what it looks like at the moment. I will try to get it in frame. Let's see. Can you see that? I hope so. Ooh. I'm not sure if that's in focus. I'm going to do a close-up of this after this portion. Um, but I just wanted to, like, talk about it while I'm holding. And if you haven't watched my videos before, something you will notice, or maybe you don't notice, is that I look at the products more than I show them. And I don't know why. I guess in my mind, if I'm looking at it, that means you can see what I can see. And that's just not how it is. So I'm going to keep looking at the things and not showing you. And it's annoying, but that's just how my brain works so continuing off of the 2018 pan that palette I have this first single shadow in this row the first one in the first row and then all the way over here this brown in the top row um, those were both in that project as Urban Decay single shadows oh uh, what were the names Let's find out. Midnight Cowboy Rides Again and Twice baked. I don't know why I don't look. I know that one. The one that I finished, I believe, was Midnight Cowgirl, and that was in my pan that palette previously. One of the things you'll probably notice is that there's this blush in here. I haven't decided if I want to count that as a pan that palette thing or a project pan thing. But aside from updating in videos, it kind of doesn't matter because I'm going to be using it and it's going to be in this palette every single day. Um, I've tried to pan this blush before. It's Hourglass Mood Exposure. Um, it's just, it takes a long time. I panned, what's the other one called? Luminous something maybe? No, that one's a different one. It, there's like a corally one and I panned this size of that from the 2014 Holiday Palette. I panned that one and then this one has just been sticking around. So. I really want to finish it this year and I might depot it to make it easier to use because it's not that it's difficult to use but when it's like around the edges like that um, it's just harder to pick up on the brush sometimes and then this black shadow gets everywhere and I don't want to accidentally put black on my face other than my eyeliner area so that's something that I need to I might do that in the next part of the video when I do the close up. I was going to repress a couple of these. Um, the general idea for all of the shadows in here is that they're all things I would like to get out of my collection. It would have been smart to do this during 2019 and be like, finish all these shadows before the new decade or whatever. 
something like that. But I really wanted 2019 to be the year I used a lot of my shadows. Um, and what I found was that once I started working a job where I had to get up earlier in the morning, I didn't have the time to just, like, you know, like, F around doing my makeup in the morning, like, putting on whatever I feel like in the moment, thinking about it. Like, I needed everything to be in one place. Um, and in order to do that, I really needed a palette like this. Um, I'm forgetting... I'll show you in the next part. I have a separate quad that I'm going to use with this and I'll explain that in that part um, additionally in addition to the shadows I want to get out of my collection there are a few shadows in here that are solely in here because I need them in order to make eyeshadow looks it's not because I want to use them up and I also want to put the disclaimer that I don't hate anything in here this is not a pan all the shadows you hate project it is a and all the things that are sort of often forgotten in my collection. Um, I will show, I think I'm going to film an inventory. If you've seen any of my previous videos where I show my collection, I have like mainly a custom palette other than this with singles. And then I have palettes. And then I have this palette where it's just sort of the excess stuff. And the problem with having a palette of excess is you probably won't reach for it, especially when it's ugly. Like, this palette is super beat up and ugly, so I never want to reach for it. Um, and a lot of these shadows, I like them when I use them. But I, during 2019, the year of me using up, like, not using up anything, but just using my collection, I found that these are the shadows I wasn't pulling for. On my Instagram, I did a test run of this for quite a while. I don't even know how many months it's been. It was just I, pretty much when I started my job, or maybe a month or two earlier. Um, and I've actually finished a few shadows already. I will put the exact number on the screen somewhere because I don't remember. Dark Horse from the Naked Palette was one of them. Um... So yeah, so I think I'm going to change the angle and show you up close this and I'm going to actually clean up the palette and repress a few things and maybe pull out some other shadows that I might add to this. Before I get into that part, the last thing I want to say is my plan for this palette is to, as things get finished, sort of put the empty pans in this corner and make it like spread out like a empty pan mosaic kind of thing which I kind of did in 2019 and then I kind of used empty pans for repressing and stuff so it didn't really work out but I think that would work better for me and then by doing that I think I'll have room to add more shadows. I intentionally didn't squish as many as I could in here because I don't think that I can finish more than this. I highly doubt I can finish all of these. Um, there are a lot of shadows that don't have a lot of product left but there are also a lot of shadows that have a ton, like this one here and that one there, the darker round pans. I don't think I'm going to finish those. I don't even know if I'll ever touch them this year, this upcoming year. Um, but I can try. And my main goal, so I kind of set it up where it's based on um, pan shape, but also it's based on um, priorities. So... These three at the bottom and this blush, I really want those gone, like top priority. Then this row, the first four, are also priority. Currently I'm focusing on the two first, the first and second of this row because they're so shallow and those are like repressed, whatever. Um, and then these are my priority and then the top row. Um, the black and this pan over here and this blue like silvery pale blue. Those are just added in to help me do my makeup in the morning. Um, but so yeah, so I would really like to finish the bottom seven are like number one for me. Like those need to be gone by 2021. Uh, yeah, so let me just get into the next part of the video because I don't want to ramble too long because this is kind of my intro. I'm sorry this isn't a better angle. Um, I know some people have like tripods and things to put their phone on so they can film 
overhead or whatever. Um, I can't do that, so I sort of figured out a way to have this so the phone is holding itself up on whatever. Um, this is a closer look at my palette. I am going to stop and clean it up first, and then I will talk about the shadows a little bit. So I thought it might be easiest to um, put the shadows back in as I'm talking about them. So if you want to know the names of something specifically, uh, you can like scroll through the video easier. I'm also going to sanitize these as I'm going through this. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I actually decided to spray these all down with alcohol first so as I put them in the palette they'll probably start to lighten in color as you watch the video. So my first shadow is Midnight, what, uh, I don't even know now. What is that? Look how gross that is. Midnight, min, little, little, little. Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. Um, this was in my 2018 Pan That palette and it looks pretty similar to what it did in that time period but I oh, but I have been using it some on this edge if you can kind of see that I probably should have filmed this in the on the porch like this portion but it's really cold out there so I really don't want to it's like 10 degrees right now um the next one is actually an eyeshadow I got from a makeup swap this year this is some sort of NYX shadow that I don't know the name of it's some sort of taupe shadow. Um, I might repress that into a different pan at some point because it's really ugly. And I sort of messed it up here trying to um, take it out of the original packaging. I think it's like a taupe pun. So if you see that shadow somewhere in store online, it's the one that's like a pun or something or other. Um, the next one is the shadow from my Becca Ombre Nudes palette. Um... It's shade number three, I believe, and I depotted all of those. So that one is a warmer tone. So I use this one when I want to do cool tone looks and that one when I want to do warm. Next I have ABH Chiffon, which I actually have a backup of already. Um, because I didn't realize how long it would take me to pan that shadow. So if I pull out my other one, this is the... Okay. This is the new one, so that is like the repressed version of the same thing. Um, so these are my Anastasia shadows at the moment, if you want to know. Um, the shadow that was here, Stone, that I finished recently, um, I'm getting another one for Christmas, just saying. So that will probably show itself later. Um, one of these pans, I don't remember which one. Okay, so this is Stone that I finished and I'm gonna get a new one. Um, I also finished this shadow this year which was a Franken shadow but it was originally a blue shadow from the Urban Decay Smoked palette. Next I have the other brown that was in my 2018 Pan That palette, Twice Baked. I talked about that already. Next is Anastasia Macaroon. It's like a metallic pink. I like it. It's just like not really my style for all over the lid. So I tend to not use it. This next one is by a brand I don't talk about anymore. Um, and I really like the shadow actually. And I would like to get something similar in a single format. Something that I think I could fit over here somewhere. For a second I thought I'd pan in um, this one. But I don't think I do. Um, I would like to have something that is the same size as these in that color. It's actually a pale blue. I don't know if it's showing up on camera that way. Um, while I'm at it, I'll put in my black eyeshadow. This is from Urban Decay. It's Blackout. I did a makeup swap with Nora, and she sent me, I think, two of her black eyeshadows, and I've been using them. Um, and you can tell because I think this one had a dip in it when she sent it to me. And this one was the almost brand new one. And this one I completely hit pan on, obviously. 
in the oh let's do the blush next this is the blush i just um sprayed it everything down with alcohol so it looks a little darker especially right there but it's like a light um it looks pinky on me like a pinky kind of plum but it depends on your skin tone what it'll look like these next two shadows are actually um the same franken shadow oh hold on I don't know why, but for some reason my phone is telling me I have like five minutes left to film and I just, whatever. So I'm going to get through like five minutes worth of stuff and then I'm going to have to figure this out. So these two shadows are both, um, uh, what are these? These are Franken shadows made from eyeshadows I had in my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. This is like the leftover and I've been like working on panning it and all that. And it's taking me a long time. So I don't know if I'll ever get to this one. The uh, second one. The next two are also from the Gwen Stefani palette. This is called Serious. And then this one is called Punk. Um, they're going to take me forever to get through if I even get to them. I have another shadow from another from the same brand um, that I don't use or talk about anymore. And I like that shadow. I just want to use it up and buy something different. This and the next one are also from the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I believe it's one, two, three, four. Five. So five plus some leftover for that one. And then this, I believe, was originally Zone. And then I mixed in Syria, so it's kind of a taupe now. Um, This next one is... Oops didn't mean to do that well we're okay this next one is a franken shadow um it was an originally anastasia oops, there's alcohol still in there get that out anastasia adorn or something like that from the subculture this one is another um franken shadow i don't even remember this one i think this was originally mercury oh i'm sorry there we go this was originally Mercury from Anastasia, and I just put some Franken shadow in there. So this is like a mixture of, I don't even know what shadows are in this one, um, but whatever. I don't even know. This is from the Urban Decay Sm Smoke Palette. Yeah, this is Mushroom. Then I have, I think this was Antique Bronze from Anastasia's Modern Renaissance to begin with and I'm including this blue that I got from Nora with it because I like those two mixed together let me move that over this is kind of going in funky the next three are um some shadows I don't oops why did I do that these are shadows from a Tarte palette and Tarte is another brand that I'm like not interested in buying from anymore um, these shadows were in the Rainforest of the Sea palette, and I don't really like the quality. I'll, oops, I'm sorry about that. So, they look pretty, and then when you swatch them, they're kind of just like, whatever. Like, they're pigmented, but they're satins, and they're kind of just like, whatever. This one here has really poor pigmentation. Like... Oh, you're not going to be able to see that. Let me try on the other one. It's just like, it looks like it's in person. The pan color is a lot darker than that. Um, they're not bad. They're just sort of like, they're made for people who I think want lighter makeup and don't want the full pigment. So that's why they're like that, I think. I think that they're made for a different... Um, makeup demographic than what I would typically I'm so sorry I keep moving the angle is that okay okay because I have like a minute left to film I'm gonna show you my naked palette what it looks like now because that was another shadow I finished this year so excuse me whoops um, I finished Dark Horse and in 2018 I finished all of these so this is what's left, and um, I kind of talked about this on Instagram. I do like the shades left over. I just don't have the time to pan them right now, and if if 
some of my shadows are going to end up expiring. It is what it is. This one my mom likes. So I use that on her like once a year when she wants her makeup done. I also thought I should update um, for 2018. I did give these two shadows away to Nora. So I have this left. This shadow here and this one could end up in this project if I use up stuff and want to add something else in and I would depop them into that. So my camera has graciously informed me that I can film for another five minutes even though I have plenty of room on my phone so I don't know what that's about but I wanted to talk quickly about these shadows here and how it's relevant to my current project because as usual my projects can't be simple it can't just be one palette. This first quad um, is my current, I guess, companion palette to the other one. The reason these shadows are kept separate from the pink palette I'm panning is I don't actually intend to pan any of these. This is, oh, somebody's calling me, are you kidding? Okay, whatever. This is my um, current brow bone. Oh my god, hold on. It just feels like the universe doesn't want me to film like any video ever. Because the one day I'm finally able to, now I'm getting phone calls to give people a ride. I'm fine giving my mom a ride or whatever, but it's like I finally sit down to film and my camera's telling me that I'm not allowed to and then whatever. And now it's telling me I have a minute and a half. Okay, this is my brow and highlight. This is my warm toned transition shade. And this is my kind of warm, kind of cool toned, um, what do you call it? Crease shade. These are all Anastasia shadows, so they officially live in my other palette I showed you earlier. So they all belong in here, um, but because I use them regularly, they're going in this quad. And so this quad is my shadows from my collection that I'm using with Pan That Palette, but they are not Pan That Palette shadows. This one in Fresh, I am likely to finish soon. I'll probably just ask for that for my birthday. Um, Stone is another one. I finished Stone a little while ago because I just used it every day and I loved it. When I get the new one, it's going in here and I'll use it with my Pan That Palette. Um, so yeah, I really like these little quads. Next, I wanted to talk about glitter because who doesn't? Um, these two are just like this. They're the Stila glitters. However, I pressed them into pans when they started to dry out in the tube. This one I just recently opened, even though I've had it for a while. It is uh, Smoky Storm, if you can see that. Come on. Come on. Where's the... There we go. Um, so I really like this. Then, I bought my friend the Coven palette from this indie brand, Dear Katie Brown. I will link their website if I can. I think they have an Instagram too. Ooh, look at Tala. Okay, anyways. Um... So I bought her the Coven palette. I'll insert a photo of the one that, of the one I, t the photo I took when it came in the mail. Because I always check in case things um, break or whatever. Here's the back if you wanted to see ingredients. So I bought the shade Adore, which is here. I'm not really sure how they like measure. But, so this is 0.14 ounces. And these are 0 0.05 ounce pans for shadow. I think glitter is like weighted differently. Oops, I don't want to break it. Hold on. Hold, please. Okay. So, on the back, it just is in regular font, Adore. Um, I really like this shadow. I'm going to swatch it for you with a clean finger, maybe. Maybe a dirty finger. Hold on. It's pretty good. So, this is like a um, thinned out swatch to sort of show you. It's like purpley and silver. Okay, well, it looks purpley pink in person. And right now, all you're getting is gold. I don't know why. Um, very beautiful. And I just decided... Um, I bought that because it was like Black Friday or whatever. Anyways, um, I bought it because I wanted glitter. And I saw this brand online. I was like, that's cool. And Coven, my friend is a witch. So, like, she follows Wicca beliefs and things. So I bought her the Coven palette because I was like, that's perfect. She, I texted her and she said she loved it. So it's not like offensive or anything. Um, so anyways, I really wanted to try it and it was like under $4, I believe. Slightly under $4. So 
I was excited to try it and so far so good. I do think though that I'm going to probably not continue to buy glitter unless it's biodegradable from now on. Um, but the reason I'm talking about this is I don't want my glitters, this one and that one, to go bad um, and dry out or anything. So these are going to be things I use on the weekends and then these are just sort of dry already. Um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to talk about those. Hi, so it's the next day and I just wanted to sort of finish this video um, but I don't really feel like doing makeup today and I don't really feel like being in camera so I just wanted to quickly talk about the rest of my collection and how that relates to Pan That Palette. So I kind of have a lot of eyeshadow in addition to what I'm panning. I thought I would just lay it out and talk about it really quick. So, they're not even all in frame. I have a lot of palettes that are in a single, that are pre-made in addition to what I've already shown you. Um, and all of these would be great pan that palettes on their own. I've already done this one and this one in year was it 2018 as I've talked about before so these two if you can see this is not a good angle there's a lot of shadow left so these could come back potentially in um, another year so yeah I just like I think the naked two especially has enough shadows left in it that I like um let me see so there are six shadows left in here that I actually really like. This is such bad lighting, I'm sorry. Um, and these would all probably be good shadows to add into this project if I needed more. I don't think I would add anything from the Naked palette. Um, let's talk about Skinny Dip. This is one of my newish kind of palettes. New for me. This is the newest, the Smoke Show from ColourPop. So this is the second newest. And I've talked about this one a lot. I love the shadows in here. Um, I'm trying to get an angle where you can see this. But essentially, I love the shadows in here. And um, I would love to pan this eventually. But I don't think that I would pull for any of these because these are, as they say on the front, ultra foil shimmer shadows. And that's not really work appropriate and I think a lot of the things I would pull for would be my work appropriate shadows. So I'm going to say that's a not likely. The smoke show is also not work appropriate in my opinion. Um, there's a lot of very dark colors in here. I think I'm just going to insert a photo of this one because I can't really show you it well at this angle but there's like three light shades and the rest so six other dark shades and I really like doing looks with this however the shadows especially the matte ones don't blend as well as I would like and smoky eye looks are not work appropriate so this is probably a no except maybe um at the top here young love and stone face you can kind of see their lighter shadows. Um, those I might use. However, they're not. Those are really bad with blending. So I'd have to have other shadows down first. But those are possibilities. Um, so I'll put that up here with the maybe. This is the my Urban Decay um, sort of, what are they called? The custom palette. Um, again, this is a horrible angle and I'm sorry. These are just more singles. I see. I could see myself pulling for this one, um, but probably not. But I'll put it in the like maybe, maybe ish kind of. But there's shadows in there that are similar, so I don't know. This is some of my Viseart shadows. I think this is definitely one I would pull for because it's satins and mattes. The two mattes are in um, this palette. Um, if you can kind of see that. I think this would probably be something I would add in like maybe one or two shadows so I think that's a more likely I think these two are more likely these are I guess everything else is kind of maybes so those are my maybes um this Natasha Denona one 
for some reason, every time I clean it, it gets these, like, streaks. But, um, these are all, I would say, work appropriate, but very rosy toned. If you can kind of see that. Um, this would probably be its own pan the palette. By the way, I rearranged these. So, this is the number two palette. Um, but I put it in my own order and I decluttered the purple. This, I think, would be its own year. So, um, I might pull for that shadow, but it's kind of unlikely. This shadow, that's a single. I have so many browns, I'm unlikely to pull for this one. And then this is my custom, those are the two Viseart. Um, I could see myself pulling shadows out of here. So, I think, like, these are the most likely that I would pull from but essentially throughout the year I might add shadows from any of these in if I finish something I need for example um let me just pull it out there's this light pink inner corner highlight kind of shade I would probably pull for maybe one from the naked two for that let's see what we have in here so I might use Verve because that's like a pale silver. Um, or I might pull for this light pink in the Viseart. So, you know, it's just like it depends on how I'm feeling in the moment about these things. Um, and I just don't know how it's going to go. So I just wanted to mention all of these palettes are kind of fair game. Except I doubt I'm going to pull for the single shadow. Um, but I don't really have a game plan as far as pulling for other shadows for this. Um, I also am not sure how I'm going to go about doing updates. I would like to say I would do monthly updates, but I really don't think that that's going to happen. I think maybe like once every two months. Um, definitely quarterly at the minimum. Um, but I, I just feel like monthly is a lot if you don't have a lot of progress and I'm going to be completely honest. I never watch anybody's monthly updates, like all of them. I'll watch like the first one, some throughout the year and then the finale, but I just, there's so many people that post Pan That Palette videos. I just can't watch every single update and I think monthly is just like not enough change to matter. Like, I think the thing is, everybody wants to see dramatic change with each update. And that's not really possible unless you space out your updates. So, we shall see how that goes. I think that's essentially it for this video. I feel like I should have more to say, and I just don't. So, thank you for watching. I hope this was enjoyable for you. Um, seeing my collection a little bit and whatever. And I hope that my pan that palette for this year goes better than it did before i do think that i can finish most of the shadows um i'm just a little bit concerned about neglecting the rest of these however that's kind of the name of the game like you gotta pick one and this 2019 i'm supposed to use this more and i really just found that i'm the kind of person that likes to pan eye looks especially when i'm working so I think it's actually going to be better for me to pan all of these eventually, except I don't really plan on panning Smoke Show. I think I'm going to talk about that more in my No Buy update, because technically I didn't do a full year No Buy because I bought this. But that's a separate thing in the Glitter Shadow. Um, for all the other things I have, I do want to either declutter or pan everything. Um... And I think that Pan That Palette is just really useful for me, but I also am not going to stop myself from using other stuff this year if I want to pull for something else. I've also had a lot more no makeup days this past year, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I promise in my next update I will make sure that the lighting is good so you can actually see what's going on. So that'll be fun, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!